Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, I'm super excited because I've been waiting for so long to do this video. And I've actually had these palettes here for around two weeks, I wanna say. But I just never got time to film it, so. I just like peeked through them, but I haven't even swatched them. I haven't done anything because of course I wanted to do a video on it. So what are we talking about? We are talking about the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. I have this one and I have this one. He came out with a Jawbreaker collection. We all know that. Um, I'm kind of late on this because like I said, I did purchase this on his first launch, but it, it just been sitting here and I just never got to use it. So I'm going to be reviewing these and doing a makeup look on it. I'm super excited because all these colors look super cool. They're like colorful, something out of my comfort zone. So I'm super excited to try these out. So let's go ahead and get started. So like you saw right now, the packaging for the regular Jawbreaker, this is like the regular Jawbreaker, the other one is the mini one. It looks like this, it's just white and it has like the Jawbreaker thing right here. You know how Jawbreakers, they kind of like look like colors just splash on them. This is what it looks like right here and on the back it just has all the information. I don't remember the price right now but I will leave it somewhere around here like always and also I will leave the price because I know if you buy it on a bundle I'm pretty sure it was like $75 I'm pretty sure it was $75 but I'll post it somewhere around here once again so the actual palette is pink the only thing I did wish is for the actual palette to be white like this because I don't know I just feel like it, it will look prettier white so once again this is what the palette looks like like I said I wish it was white like the actual packaging like the actual outside packaging but I'm guessing it's pink because it's Jeffree Star and basically everything is pink so once again information on the back and are you guys ready for this Ta -da! look at these colors you guys these are so pretty like all these colors right here this one right here is catching my attention this purple one and this blue one but look at all these colors i will have um swatches of them at the end of the video so before i get started with my eyes i also want to mention that he came out with lip scrubs if you guys don't know jeffree star um has lip scrubs and they're super super good they really do exfoliate i do have i have been using the blueberry pie one and you guys this smells so good it smells like blueberries like a blueberry pie and this is so good and um it smells so good and these are edible i don't eat these because i'm pretty sure they are made with sugar so i don't want to eat the sugar um but he came out with new ones so i did get one and it is the cucumber mint i already saw this one and i already smelled it and it smells so good so the packaging is like this neon green right here it's like a neon green yellowish and it looks like this on the inside i don't smell any melon but i do smell the mint and it smells wonderful I think mint is like my favorite um, lip scent, like lip scrub, lip balm, or just anything. I, I love mint because it feels so cooling. And these actually feel like it plump, it plumps your lips. So like I said, I did use I do use a blueberry pie one and I feel like my lips get plumped. I am not going to use it right now because I just used it last night and I really don't like to exfoliate my lips a lot. I'll do it like maybe three times a week or it just depends how I feel about my lips. If my lips are dry, usually when I wear liquid lipsticks, my lips tend to get dry. So that's when I use it. But I try not to use it too often because then I feel like it's going to irritate my lips. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started before I keep on talking because I've been talking for a while now. So I'm going to... I think I'm gonna wear eyeshadow shields just because these shadows seem pretty intense. 
so I am going to be wearing my eyeshadow shields that I always mention and I'm just going to be placing them right here my face is so red right now I just got back from the gym like an hour ago and I feel hot okay so now that I have these all I need to do is prep my eyes I always like to prep my eyes with a primer or just like a base because I feel like the shadow will stick to it better and the colors will give you a better payoff so I do like to use a uh, creamy base and this is a MAC paint pot in the shape painterly this is like the softer one and I'm just going to be using this brush which I don't even know what it is because it doesn't have anything on it so I am going to be applying this all over my eye let me bust out my Jeffree Star mirror It's easier to get a closer look at it. Okay, now that we have this, I'm not going to be setting it with a powder. I usually set it with the powder, but I really want these shades to stick on. Oh, this thing is bothering me. I really want the shades to really stick onto my lid, so it's already dry. I usually tap it, and if it feels dry, like it's okay, I won't set it. So I'm going to start with a crease color and what should I use? There's no really, I think the only crease color there is, is this shade right here, which is cone and maybe this one right here, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to, I think I'm going to use this one first just um, on my crease because I do want to, oh my God, this is so pretty. It's a pretty color. I'm using a, a Morphe M441 brush and I'm just going to be applying this on my crease oh it's like a peachy shade these are so pigmented and and actually blending it's actually blending pretty good I am not having any trouble blending what do I have here I don't know what that was yeah this shade is pretty it's like a peachy shade okay now I'm gonna grab a smaller brush and this is a Morphe M513 it's more pointed and I think I want to I want to kind of match my shirt but I do want to add a couple of colors because because I do want I because I do want to try a lot of these shades so I think I'm going to be using this color right here, which is called Suck. It's like an orangey color, but it also has it's like a burnt orange. It's like a burnt orange. And I'm going to be applying this also on my crease, but I'm mainly going to be putting this on the center of the crease and then just work my way out to my outer V. I don't want to go all the way in. I'm just going to be starting like, maybe like one fourth, like right here. And I'm also going to be applying this on the outer V. The shade is also very, very pretty. Okay, this is looking pretty good so far. I really like these shades. They blend so easy and they are super, super pigmented. So I am really liking um, these shades right here. So what I'm going to do next is around this area right here. I think I want to go in with... I really want to use purple, but I don't know. I know I want to do like a yellow because my shirt does have yellow so I think I want to do like a yellow somewhere here but what color should I put should I try the purple guys because I don't know the purple is kind of like calling my name so I am going to be using the purple which is called gumdrop is this one right here if it doesn't work I'll just put some other shade on top but I really want to use this shade 
and I'm going to be applying it on this area right here. And I'm gonna go back with that other blending brush and then just blend this over here. Add a little bit of the orange shade that we have used on the outer V and then just blend right here. Okay, the purple doesn't look that bad with this shade, so I'm gonna leave it like this because I really wanted to use this purple. Now for the inner part, I'm going to be using the yellow. So for yellow, we have this shade right here, which is called, they do have like kickback on the shades, but I don't mind because I know they're pigmented. This is in the shade Wow, which is this yellow one right here. I think I'm gonna do that one and also Lemon Drop because this one has like little shimmer on it. So I'm going to be adding Wow to my inner part and I'm gonna be using this pencil brush. This is a Morphe M4. 3-1, I'm first going to be applying WOW all over here on the inner part of my eye. Once again, go back to that blending brush and then just blend all this together. So this is how it's looking right now i think i'm gonna add the glittery shade on the end once i finish the rest of my face so for now i'm going to leave it like this i'm gonna remove these because i don't need them anymore i'm going to be placing my palette to the side because i am going to be applying my uh, makeup and all of that First of all, I want to apply just like a facial spray and I'm going to be applying this Evian expensive water. I call it expensive water because it's a face mist, but it's actually expensive for just being water. I believe it's just water. I don't know. It, just, it might just be me that I think it's just water, but it's this Evian spray right here. I'm just going to be spraying and I, and I feel like this gives moisture to my skin, kind of like the Smashbox primer water. I feel like this one does the exact same thing. Actually, this one is cheaper than the Smashbox because I got this one at TJ Maxx. So just let it dry for a little bit. I did buy this fan, but in its batteries, and I don't know, this battery, it's some kind of weird big battery. And it didn't come with it, so I can't use my little fan like to dry my face. So I'm going to be applying a primer and for today I'm going to be using the ColourPop All Star Matte and Blur Primer which looks like this. You can't really see it because of the light because it's a super light pink but I am going to be applying this on my skin. My cheeks are so red. And I'm also going to be applying my Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. I only apply a small tiny amount like super tiny and I only like to apply this on this area right here so for foundation I'm going to be using the ColourPop no filter foundation and this is in the shade light 70 which looks like this right here and I only do like two pumps and a half I'm gonna be like super fast forwarding, like super speeding this part because you've all seen how I apply my foundation and there's no need to see it anymore. So I'm gonna be speeding this up. Now that we have our foundation, I'm also going to be using my ColourPop concealer and this is in the shade Light 18. And then I'm just going to be applying a little bit here. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. <laughs> and then here and a little bit here. For 
my powder, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Ethereal Powder. This is a Too Faced Born This Way powder. And I'm going to be baking under my eye. I'm also going to be applying this on the center of my nose and here on the forehead. So I'm going to leave this for now. I'm going to leave this like that for now. Meanwhile, I'm going to be um I'm going to be applying my lashes and eyebrows and I'll be right back. Okay, so I already did my eyebrows and my lashes. If you're wondering what lashes I'm using, I'm using the Lisa lashes in the style Liz in the style list right here these are super fluffy and full and for my eyebrows i just use the anastasia brow wiz in the shade chocolate so that's nothing new i am going to be setting my eyebrows and i'm using this is the tarte double duty beauty uh gel brow gel in the shade medium brown and this thing is so tiny you guys but i like it because it gives a little bit of Kind of like highlight to my eyebrows the the spoolie is so thin but it really does get into your eye to, into your eyebrows and it gives you like a softer look to your eyebrows kind of like highlights so for my under eye i'm gonna go straight to my under eye and then just work on my face so for my under eye, I'm going to be using a flat definer brush. This is a Morphe M432 and I think I want to, I think I want to add blue to it. So I know I went from a total different color, but I think I'm gonna, what should I do? I think I'm gonna mix this one right here, which is called Delicious. That's like his puppy. His puppy's name is Delicious. So I'm going to be using Delicious and also Soaked. So I think I'm going to be doing Delicious on the outer part of my eye and then Soaked on the middle. And then I'm going to be doing Brain Freeze on the inner part. It's kind of like an ombre. So I'm going to be going in with the lighter shade first because it's easier to do lighter to darkest. So I am going to be applying this under here. The dark one. And then the deep, deep dark one. And I'm gonna grab a pencil brush. And I think I'm gonna be going in with that orangey one that we went that we used earlier and I'm just going to be buffing all of this under the eye okay so there it goes so now for my waterline I have I don't know if I want to do a yellow I have this purpley one lavender or this blue one I think I want to do let me see how the blue one looks because I've been really wanting to do this one under my eye yes I'll stick to the blue one so I'm using this color pop one it's a cream gel liner and this is in the shade Prance. So it's this, um, it's like a periwinkle blue. And then I'm just going to be applying mascara to my bottom lashes. The Benefit Roller Lash. I always use this mascara. This is my favorite mascara. And now I'm going to add that glittery shade on the inner corner, which was Lemon Drop. It's like a, it's a yellow one, but it has a little bit of shimmer to it. I'm going to be adding... I'm going to be adding this on this part right here. Just like this. So I think that's it for my eyes. Um, I'm not going to be adding any more 
eyeshadows to my eyes so for the eyeshadow palette that's about it I'm gonna continue doing my the rest of my face for my contour I'm gonna be using the Hoola bronzer right here to contour and I'm just gonna contour like very slightly I really don't want a lot of contour For blush I'm gonna be using this shade right here from the Morphe 8W palette this is in the shade goals I'm getting kind of itchy right here this is in the shade goals and I'm gonna be applying this on the apples of my cheeks it's like a pinky shade for highlighter I'm gonna be using the Maybelline master chrome uh, highlighter which is this one right here and this is in the shade molten rose gold this is a rose gold one and I'm going to be applying this on right here uh, tip of my nose I'm gonna set my face before I apply my lipstick because I like to do this first. So I'm gonna be using the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. And then with my uh, Beauty Blender sponge right here, I'm just going to be tapping everything in place. For my lipstick, I'm going to, I actually bought a Jeffree Star lipstick, liquid lipstick 2 in the shade Mannequin, 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 and this is, I believe, like a nude shade, yes, it's a super nude shade. Mm, I kind of wanted to do like, should I do Calabasas instead? Let me try this one, if I don't like this one, I'll switch to Calabasas. So I'm going to be uh, lining my lips with the Kylie Cosmetics. This is in the shade, I believe, yeah, it's Candy K. And applying my Ooh. They have a look. It's a weird smell. It's like uh, it's like minty, but vanilla-ish. I don't know. I don't think the other ones smell like this. This one smells different. So this is it. This is the look that I came up with. I really do like all these shades right here. They are so pigmented. They blend easy. And I really like all these color combinations. I was not sure about the purple and the blue, but I kind of liked it. I I think it worked. It looks very pretty. It looks colorful. It looks summery. It's something out of my comfort zone. I don't think I would have applied all these shades in my eyes, but I really wanted to try a couple of shades. So that's why I applied different shades. And this lipstick is so pretty. It's like it's nude. And with the Kylie Cosmetics lip liner under. I think it made it more like a pinky nude if not it would have been like super 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 nude but I really like this look I really like the palette I do have the mini jawbreaker but I think I'm gonna use this one in another video let me just show it to you guys just so you guys can see what it looks like okay see this one is white I don't know I, I think both of them should have been white but these are the shades right here they're mainly like purplish so I am going to be doing another video on this one because I it's too many shades so like I said I am going to be doing another video on that so what I think about the palette I really do like it it has a lot of pretty shades and a lot of wearable shades actually and so I am going to be showing you swatches on my arms of the shade right now so on this arm, we have the swatches for the first two rows right here. And on this arm, we have the swatches for the last two rows right here. 
so this is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up follow me on my social media you know how it is and yeah thank you so much for watching and until next time i'll see you guys soon bye